Hello friends, in this video we will cover step-by-step -step installation of Anaconda. So on a broad level we can divide it into four parts. Part 1 where we will understand about Anaconda and its benefits. Part 2 where we will visit the website anaconda.com and download the installation. Part 3 where we will just run the installation and make appropriate selections. And part 4 where we will finish the installations and open the Anaconda Navigator. So let's first understand what is Anaconda. Anaconda is a free and open source distribution for Python and R for data scientists. It has a lot of uh, good applications for machine learning, data science, and it comes with very nice tools like Spider, Jupyter Notebook, which are really very useful and easy to learn. Thus, when we are installing Anaconda, we are also installing these tools automatically. Apart from this, when one opts for Anaconda route, one also gets automatic download of many important Python packages like NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, etc. If one was about to install them separately, say using pip install or something similar, then it would have costed one a lot of additional time and efforts, which can be directly saved by opting Anaconda route. So once we have understood the benefits of installing Python with Anaconda, let's begin with the actual installation. First step is to visit the anaconda.com distribution page. For this, you can either click on the link provided on the description below, or you can simply search for anaconda download in your browser. So if you just search for download anaconda in your browser, you will see the first option that you will get is from anaconda and its distribution. So just click here, just click on the download, now it will show you two versions, Python 2.7 and Python 3.7. There are a couple of changes uh, in terms of uh, libraries, couple of methods and functions, and 2.7 is no longer supported. So my suggestion is if you are working it, uh, if you're a new user, you are working it on the first time, begin with Python 3.7. So for this video, we will go with the Python 3.7. So let's download it. As you can see, the download has begun. Um, it's it's going to take a couple of minutes because it's around half GB file. Now, once the download is complete, let's run the file. So these are typical licensing agreement. We'll just click on agree. Now it gives two options. One, just me and then all users. So because on this laptop, I would like it to be available to all the users, I will click on the second option, but feel free to select option one. Click on next. It will give the default installation location. I'm fine with it. If you want to change it, please feel free so. Uh, also, if you have downloaded a separate version, then maybe you would like to change this location to any other path so that they don't overlap. Click on next. Now, it will give two options. Uh, and this is where ma um, many users get confused. Option one says add Anaconda 3 to the system path environment variable. While the second option says register Anaconda 3 as the system Python 3.7. So let's first understand what are these two options. Option one says that if you want to install Anaconda 3 and if you want it to be added to path environment variable. If you opt for this option, then whenever you open your command prompt or PowerShell, if you just click Python, then it will directly be accessible. So if you have any, any Python application and you want to run it, you can simply do it if you have added Anaconda 3 to your path environment. However, if you have other versions of Python on your machine, then it can lead to confusions or errors. In that case, it's better that we register Anaconda 3 as the system Python 3.7 because in this particular option, it's not going to get added to the system path environment. So very simple uh, criteria is if you have multiple versions of Python on your machine, select second option. As you can see, it, it reads out the disclaimer. But if it's the first time you're installing it, then feel free to select the option one. 
So on my machine, I don't have any other Python or Anaconda. It's first time I'm installing it. So I'll click option one and then click on install. It will take a couple of minutes. Let's give it some time. It's completed. So just click next and finish. So I'm clicking these two options, learn more about Anaconda and Anaconda individual edition and tutorial, but feel free if you don't want to uh, check these options, just uncheck them and then click on finish. So now Anaconda is successfully installed on your machine. Now let's take a couple of minutes to see how to run any one application from it. So for that, I'll go to my windows, open Anaconda Navigator. As you can see here, it will show an option Anaconda. Just click here. We will click on Anaconda Navigator. It's gonna take a while, so hang on. And as you can see, this is the Anaconda Navigator screen. You get all the options all the applications which are provided like Jupyter Lab, Notebook, PowerShell, Spider, R Studio, and a lot many others. So you can just launch any one of them. Say we will launch Jupyter Notebook. It is asking which browser to use. So I'll select Google Chrome. And as you can see, Jupyter is up and running. Now, in this video, we have seen the installation of Anaconda. And, and we have seen why it's better to choose Anaconda versus any traditional um, standalone Python installation. In next video, we will actually deep dive into running a couple of Python applications using Jupyter. So thanks for watching it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.